hello, welcome to this sports episode of A Poison Cup of Coffee. I'm Aliana, as you know, and this is the story of me. Of everything about me and the rest. I was born 329 years ago, if I remember correctly, to a decently large family of... I won't say high class, but we weren't poor. We were middle class, to say the least of. Most likely upper middle class. Back in those days, anyway. I have no idea what we do today. It's been a while. I was born as the third eldest in my family. I have two older siblings, my sisters, and my younger brothers. They sadly have parents. They have for quite a few years at this point, but I still go visit where they were buried. They didn't have the fortunate thing of being a ghost like I was. I got the very rare family dream of being mortal, to say the least. Many, 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 many years ago, my family was cursed that every few generations, one of us would be cursed to be mortal for the rest of our days. I sadly got the end of that, this generation. It's decently hard sometimes because I do, I do miss them. I love them very much and it's hard not having people to go to for advice but I plan to find people who I can. I have Andy and our new host who you'll meet next week or whenever we next record and send it out to you lovely folk. Uh, family was pretty nice to each other. We had our stats and arguments, but families do. You know who it is. It was mainly between my siblings. I tend to stay out of them. I don't. And it didn't and still don't like fights and verbal arguments. They were not my specialty. I was the one who stood in the back and tried to play peacekeeper. And granted, I succeeded. Succeeded most of the time, but sometimes there were actually physical altercations where people would end up with bruises, cuts, the rest of all that. My mother was Jocelyn. She was a lovely, lovely caring woman who was like, she was always lovely to you and if she could, she would give you the clothing off her back. She was beautiful, to say the least. She had this face that drew you in and just let you knew that you were safe and you'd be fine. She used to wear dresses that she hand stitched and made from scratch. They were always lovely. She particularly favoured deep blues and royal purples. Granted, we shouldn't have technically had those colours, but we had our ways. Friends in high places, if you know what I mean. Um, I loved her very much. I still celebrate her birthday, even though she's not here. I haven't seen her in a couple decades, being forced out of the spirit world and all, but. Oh, be okay. I do get to see her on occasion when she pops through onto my side. She has yet to um, come see me this year. But she's. she's there when you need her. My father was. less kind. He was so very kind, mind you, but he was a no nonsense kind of person. You know it. He meant business or not. He very much liked his poker and his games. I remember him playing a game once when I was quite young. I was about six or so at the time. He um, had placed a bet of, I believe it was 60 pay back then. I'm not sure how much time it would be now, I'm not exactly good at conversions of time and money, but 
And there was quite a bit. He played seven rounds of poker with that bet because things had got all mixed up in the sense of going for it. Every time someone won around, that part would go to them and they'd add more or blew some. Depending on who won and who lost and who had the highest draw and everything. My father ended up winning his money back and about 200 extra from everyone's participation. I remember that day fondly because it was the first time he went all out on a birthday gift for my mother. He got her a bouquet of green roses, green and pink roses. That was bigger than his entire form side was. You could tell he spent a lot of care putting it together and finding the right flowers that she would like. That had the flowers and smell. They were just lovely. They were gorgeous, really. I did quite like them. I remember taking care of them and sketching them back in the days I actually sketched. I haven't done that in a couple minutes. Minel- yeah. In a few years, but I can't get into it soon. No. And if all those do fall, stop crying and you get a little break, just like it's not pretty. Um, I have news, actually. We have a couple new guests as well. Permanent guests, I should say. We have two new hosts that are going to be joining myself and Andy. You'll meet them soon, let's say. Clara, unfortunately, had to depart her since so she had found her clan and decided to join them. Most of them. Um, sad as we are to see her go, we wish her well and hope that she does break in everything that she does in the future, hopefully it's legal, but no, it won't be. Mm. She is quite nice. I do miss her. I did like her hair. <laughs> mm. I actually have a few facts for you all. I'm technically speaking, um, about 400 years old, but shh. See, when I died, I was around, if I remember correctly, around 60. But because um, it sticks us out, what age we were when we were, like, when we absorbed the curse, say, slightly easier for you to understand. So I'm stuck. At looking like 22. It's nice not having back pain anymore. Sure, I still have it on occasion, but it's more phantom back pain than it is actual back pain. It's weird to say at least after getting used to it for so long that it just up and disappeared the day I died. Which, that's a whole, whole different story that I can get into later on. Or in a different time when I do this. It's a nice story. It's not one of the old tragedies that you hear in old movies and rom-coms. It's quite nice. It was peaceful. I don't happen with someone I loved. We do have a couple of updates on the cave. We have the rubber shoe warmer that's been quite nice to stand on and not feel cold. We also have a new lampshade and a new curtain. Deep blues and purples, per my suggestion. Well, another suggestion she wanted them so she could feel a little more she watched over. It's nice having her here when we do this. We won't feel talk to you. I am currently working on a project. Just a little experiment of seeing if we can pull someone through from the um, material plane into the spirit world and then back out very, very quickly to see what would happen to their body. We do not exactly know if they would lose air or lose their flesh, and you're not sure, but the sooner we will. I plan to be able to be you someone who can be revived very, very quickly. Mm. 
my new abilities right now. We're having a bit of a show and kind of everywhere. I've been fighting in and out due to various memes and warps in the timeline and the um, planes. We believe someone's been travelling through them at a very quick rate. One that if they did not have special supplies, chips, or whatever they're travelling through with, um, it would have killed them by then, but they do surprisingly well for someone. Of the people, we well, assume they're people anyway, who've never been so cool. I haven't heard of them since. It's quite nice having it like this. I believe the warding on this is wearing off, so that will be my departure. I hope to see you all soon. Be nice to our new hosts when you meet them, I'm sure you'll love them. I love them so far, they're wonderful.